Hey, Jay. Hey, is this my man, Dub22? Yes, ma'am, it is. All right, y'all. This is just a touch of Jay, and I'm coming at you, getting ready to put it all out there in pieces, baby. How my baby's doing on tonight? We got a special guest because we got to sit here and do these five questions. You know that you guys, you know, sent in. So, Dub, you ready? You going to help me out with this? What you got going on yes, over ma'am. here with all that noise in the background? Well, yeah, I was uh, I was migrating to a place so I can make sure that uh, I'm in the right <laughs> spot for <laughs> this. Place, what place you migrating to? You're so crazy, Doug. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I had them share. I'm I'm good now. I'm I'm done with my rough and little tussle. <laughs> Y'all hear this? You so trifling, Doug. Come on now. Get this together, okay? <laughs> this is just touch it. We trying to put it out there in pieces for him. All right, for y'all who don't know, Dub is a fellow radio podcast host, and he does his one too. Make sure y'all check him out, Dub22. He's amazing. Dub, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, well, you know, I have a podcast station here on Anchor. I um, It's called Listening to the Echoes of Dub22. And if you can just find me by my name, Dub22. And on that podcast, I, I have a lot of different angles I come at. But mostly what I usually bring on there is inspiration to the masses of people. Um, and God has been using me to, you know, do some great things. So I, I give God all the glory for everything that I'm doing. Um, I'm also an entrepreneur, and um, I'm a, I'm a father of two girls, and I'm just steady doing my thing, trying to basically, you know, steady grind and stay around people like just the yes, Dub is amazing, y'all. Make sure y'all check out his stuff. Dub, you are so thorough. You know, yes, yes, yes. And you know what I tell them all the time. You know, you got to be thorough if you listening to me, okay? <laughs> Unless you a hater. What do I say? Hi, haters, because y'all need this work too, right? Okay, so let's get it started, Dub. So look, how we going to go ahead and get this thing started? I don't even know. Well, let's just go. Let's rifle off on. You breaking up, Dub. Morning. Yeah, oh, I can, can hear you. Hear me now? What, what phone service you got? Verizon. Okay. You need more people, Doug. Ah. <laughs> Remember that commercial. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So let's okay. just go through the question, whatever, whatever they, whatever they want to okay, know. Okay. So about. question number one. I guess this is how we can start, y'all. Question number one. Okay, Doug. Let's talk about it. All right. I'll do question number one. You got the questions, okay. right? Okay, so I'll do yes. question number one, you do two, three, like we'll go back and forth, we'll talk about it like that, okay? So question number one says, right. um, going back to your ex, okay? Should you yeah. go back to your ex? How do you so, think? here's my here, here's okay. my thought on this. All right, so I know a lot of people will be able to relate with me on this. I believe this. There are two different mindsets. One mindset says, once I'm body, I'm done. Okay. And then the other mindset says, although we're done, I may flirt with the idea of it. Okay. So let, let's look at it from the angle of, you know, uh, that second one right there. Mm-hmm. Um, so the way I look at this is, um, whenever you are done with your ex so to speak from that second mindset you still gonna have a time frame it's it's like you're gonna flirt with the idea because it's not completely over with in your mind mm-hmm. and I know I know some people gonna go get on here and be like well I'm the number one once I'm done with somebody I'm done it there ain't no turning back so I feel y'all, I understand y'all, but the other other mindset is there is going to be a time frame where it's still going to be a little crack in the door. What would you say on that? Yeah, you know what? I do feel like that there could be like a crack in the door. Like, especially like when you first 
kind of like break up. You know, if you break up, it's kind of like, oh, no, you know, and they trying to get back with you and you might be trying to get back with them. You know, I, I, I feel you on that. But I guess it had to do with the terms of the breakup, too. Like, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, did you like, um, okay, did y'all break up just because, okay, let's say for our younger generation, or our older generation, you know, you want to wear to college or something. Let's just say, because you know a lot of younger kids, they in high school, they got these high school boobs, you know, shout out to y'all out there. And then, you right. know, they got to go ahead and separate because one's going over here in Cali and one's going somewhere in Asia or something. I don't know, you know, but they, <laughs> they got to separate, okay? So if they break up on those terms, you know, you might still kind of want to get that. Now, I don't know if you got cheated on. Yeah. That's kind of like, do you go back? Do you not? I mean, this is just a touch of you, baby. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, it's a lot of variables involved. Because, like, if they have kids together, for example. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's like... It's like that second thought process I was mentioning. You have You're that right. flirting of the idea that yeah. we could possibly get back together. It might be, it might take some hard work. It might right. take some work. Yes. Yeah. But y'all have kids together. Y'all have, um, y'all have a relationship that will always be there. Right. So, so that means even if you don't care for the other person, y'all still have something in common. Y'all have children together. So. You, every time you see that person, y'all might not talk on a level we want to hook back up, but the perfect world would be y'all are together and y'all work the thing out to where the kids are in a better situation and they see the they see the parents working through hard circumstances, even adversity. So I just, you know, I like to just give them just a little piece like you do. Yeah, I don't know though if I want to be together. I don't know if I want to be with you just because it's kids. So, I don't know about that one because I'm like, you know, because then it's like, I mean, I guess you can work on it, but then I don't know. It's it's possible, but it is also some situations where I understand we just gotta go our separate way. You're right, you're right. So look, <laughs> y'all, y'all gotta call in because we don't really know. We're trying to figure it out. Should you be with the ex? Should you not? I guess it kind of depends on you know the situation and why you broke up, and right. you know if you're done, you're done, or if you're not. Some people believe they're done and they're done, and some people don't. Some people go back and forth and they do their back and forth thing. Right. I don't know. So look, we're gonna go on to question number two. You done with question yeah. number one? I don't think there's nothing else we really get. Yeah, can you can you read the question? Cause for some reason I'm not able to pull See, it. See, here you go. See? I'm tired of you already, girl. I'm not playing <laughs> no more. <laughs> All look, right, let's... I, what? I don't wanna mess up anything on this. So if I exit out of where I'm at, I don't wanna mess up. You so crazy. You ain't gonna mess up that look. All right, here we go. All right, number two. This is question number two. Um, oh, what if when you have your ex, you know, listen, because you know how you got these exes that be like, I know we ain't together, but can we still be friends? How oh. do you feel about that? You know, like, because I'm like, look, what you trying to have your cake and eat it too? Especially like if they in a whole new relationship, why you want to be friends? You in a relationship, you supposed to be happy in that relationship. So why are you talking about, can we still be friends? You know, why don't you come over? Or I come over there. Like, that's a, how do you feel about this? Let's talk about this. Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of dating uh, with, uh, basically, you, you gonna, you gonna end up doing more than friend stuff when you do that. Yeah, so, like what? What type of friend? <laughs> So check this out. If you have the mindset of we can just be friends, okay. I believe that there will be a there will come a time where you two will be alone. Oh shit! Yes, you two will be alone. I gotta turn a fan on. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I'm fair about that. Go ahead. And what will happen is y'all over there Netflix, Netflixing and chilling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, game. And y'all are just friends. Yeah, and somebody has it in their mindset. 
Well, you know, since we have since we having such a good time together, right? How about I just you know stay the night and just go to work in the morning, whatever I gotta do in the morning. Uh huh. Shall well, you gotta tell you know that type of thing. Yeah, so it's it's kind of like you're flirting with the idea. You just want to be friends. But even if you didn't get to the situation of being alone, y'all are still going to have, like, phone conversations. Y'all are going to be... Right. Y'all are going to have in conversations right. where you're, flir- you're flirting more than friends. So you have to be careful. And if you set boundaries, it won't even go into that. What, it, what, what would you... Hey, are, am I kind of getting ahead of myself with the boundaries part? No, you're not. Because I guess you can kind of... You can set boundaries. But it's kind of like... If you would, it's kind of like the R. Kelly. I don't really know how I should feel about this <laughs> because it's like, okay, you want to still be my friend? Can we still be friends? But if y'all have feelings, okay, if y'all like, okay, what if this person is like, I love you still, and you like, I love you too, but they want to be your friend. Wow. It, but then they got somebody else. It's. I, I understand exactly what you're talking about because those feelings come back up. If you've right. Ever, if you've ever loved somebody and you say, hey, we could just be friends, you know, after all, you know, we've been through, uh, you know, ups, downs, left, rights, uh, you know, we've done, we've been through it all, so we might as well be friends. Now, that right there, whenever the person has that conversation, that right there is a great time to have the boundary conversation. Right. Right. Because right. it's okay to be friends. We're not saying it's not okay to be friends, but I do believe whenever that 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 little phrase, hey, can we just still be friends? That right there needs we need to set some boundaries on what friendship should be. But now listen, now you know some people they got hidden agendas and they just like can we be friends? They want to keep that connection going. What happens when you know you got somebody that's really just still trying to keep that connection going and you know they out there doing that trickery and they trying to trick you and they're going into that trickery too? Right. What you do about that right there? So what that's where the, the, that's where that that discernment comes in. Child, yes. Talk about it. Yeah, so, you know, that's when your connection, your relationship with God is going to help you to be able to discern and decide whether or not if a person got a hit. You yeah. know if somebody got... Here, here, here's how you know if somebody got... You hear me snap my finger? Do you hear it? Do you hear it? <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, go ahead. If y'all, if, this is how you know somebody got a hit. Okay. So, let's say you just want to test and see how this person is thinking about you. So Ooh, you start you start leaning the conversation, you know, not not because you want to, but to see where their mindset is. Right. And when okay. the, when you lean the conversation and they kind of take it the extra mile, that mm-hmm. how you know somebody got a hidden agenda when they start right. throwing. Yeah. Yes, child. When they talk about, can you, um, you know, you know, and all that other type, you know what I'm talking about, though. Right. Okay. Yeah. They and they, just, yep. So what do you do, though? So do you say, no, we can't be friends? But what if deep down in your heart, you kind of still care about them, but you still, you know, like how do you? I don't know. It's kind of like the Art Kelly thing. I don't know what to say. So you, so the the situation you gave was. Um, they want to be friends, but somebody still has somebody, right? Like some. They move. They move on. Okay, maybe they don't move on. I don't know. They move on. They don't move on. But it's still feelings there. It's that connection. But they trying to use the whole can we just be friends, knowing that they don't want it to be friends. They want it to be a little more. I don't know. Yeah. So that person has to decide if they want to be friends right set the boundaries but also if you still like that person you might need to you might need to just like you don't have to decide because you can't have cake like and you said, eat it too. your cake and okay eat it. we can't be out here <laughs> doing this trickery y'all this is 2019 right. we almost at 2020 we can't be doing this trickery we gotta figure out what we got going on and y'all gotta live in y'all truth and y'all gotta know Okay, you got to get that discernment. You got to know, is this person, you know, because 
if the person really wants to be with you, they don't have to play these games as far as their whole, can we just be friends? They need to go ahead. Look, if you out here and you talking about something, you want to just be friends, but you know you don't want to be friends, you really want to be with the person, just say you want to get back with the person. I guess that's just going to end that whole one, right? Yep. That's going to end that whole one, dub, that whole thing I right agree. there. If you want to be friends, just... If you don't really want to be friends, if you want to be with the person, just say. I guess I don't know. Look, I don't know yes. before, Lord. Here we go. Question number three. Okay. <laughs> um, oh right. my gosh, this was the crazy one. The, they always try to get me to talk about this. They want me to go back to this love doctor series. I refuse to. But somebody <laughs> called in, and this is what they said. They had oral sex. They've been with they. Okay, they're married. Okay, they're married. They've been with their person for 20 years. 20, 20 years is a long time, first of all. And they handle all sex. Like, okay, wait, wait hold on. This is just a touch day. First of all, y'all know I don't know nothing about nothing. Okay. <laughs> I would just say that. But the person called in and they're disturbed because they had an issue and they don't understand why this person they've been with ain't performing or sex on them and they feel some type of way so I'm like okay she's a female she doesn't understand why her husband isn't you know doing a thing with to her okay so yeah. what do we say about that I don't I, mean, I, I have a lot of questions <laughs> on this so the first question I want to know is what was going on prior to getting married and also, have they been married for more than like 20 years and it, it was going on at first and then it, just for the last 20 years it hasn't been? Like, there's a lot of questions I have. Um, on top of that, is Who she child? Listen, that's what her? I said too when I heard it. I said, wait a minute, hold on, wait, are you doing something? But he ain't doing it. But no, listen, the thing is, this is what it's supposed to be. Okay, she ain't giving it. No, no, she did say she was giving. She is giving it, but he's not giving it, and he never gave it. Oh, never. See, so yeah. even before they got married, that's what. See. Okay. Okay, so check this out. Um, I don't think that what be upset because if she he never listen he never see it's one thing when you know that he had did it at the beginning like once, yeah you like, right they stopped they be like hold on what's going on <laughs> <laughs> but here we are we are That's 20 years time. later and obviously uh, something has aroused in her mind that she wants this like she wants this to be but the thing is this is what her. she said that she keeps like he keeps on promising <laughs> like he gonna do it but he just ain't get around to it that's a uh, lot of promises. Is he doing it once a year? Like, but you know, man. people don't do it for religious purposes. They do that. That's their whole thing. I don't oh, know what's going on. Look, this is just a touch tape for you. <laughs> this piece for you. I don't know. It's, uh, it's kind of like that R. Kelly thing. I don't know what's so going on. Think... I think that there's there's um, a lack of uh, con- contentment or something in the bedroom. Not only yes. with the oral though. Yes. It's not just that. See, I think sometimes when people ask questions, they're not really asking the real question that they should be asking. So it's not. I don't think that this lady. That's. I don't think that's a big hmm. issue. It's something surfacing hmm. deeper than that. Like she, like uh, you know, sometimes it might be. Uh, just less quality time it, it might be less physical mm. touch like holding her mm. at night or you know mm. kissing her um, like you know romantically you know those things are important for certain yeah. types of women yeah. Yeah. so I think it's a little bit deeper I know that she she's you know upset and she's talking about this but she if we all look at this question right. in reality we know that at year 15, at year 10, at year 5, it was right. an issue then. But it's it's something bigger surfacing right now at year yeah, 20. That's a long time. Now, what if it was a guy and he wasn't getting it? 
Okay. Um, again, Same thing. I think. I think it's something bigger because if he wasn't getting it for twenty years, what if it was just like two years? What if it was one year? What if it was a month? I don't know. And they've been married, off, and you're saying they still been married. Like, well, they can't years. be married for twenty years. It's like one year. Let's just take the twenty out. That's so long. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's say they was married for one year, and they wasn't. Okay. See, the first, the first part of a marriage, you would think that people are hitting it off, and right, time, right, know? right. So the energy should be there. I don't know. Like, if you're not doing it like that the first year, <laughs> it's like I, I think so. Okay, okay. all okay, right. So some people, some people, sex is not a big thing for them in a relationship. Right. That's for some people. Right. So that's where I'm like, okay, I can, I, I can understand a part of the, part of the audience being like, you know, that's not really a big thing with me. Right. You know? But. At the very beginning of a marriage, everybody's supposed to be hitting it off. You're supposed to, even if you're not doing it in the bedroom like that, y'all should be connecting intellectually, emotionally, psychologically. Right. And I think that that is where the lack of an area in a relationship is. People are feeling like they're like, man, I'm not getting what I need in this area because I'm you're lacking in other areas. Right. That's where I that's where I'm right that's how I looked at it too I did the same thing too I said well dang something isn't connecting somewhere it's yeah 20 years one year five months it doesn't matter something ain't connecting exactly exactly and it might be just the fact that somebody's attention is being taken somewhere else it could be a career it could be kids it could be hobbies it could be traveling, you know, a lot of different. Twenty things. years though, is what she said. Yeah, I don't know, my mom. <laughs> Moving right along, let's go to the next question. I don't even know if we knew how to answer that one. We just want to say, I guess for you, honey, communicate. You got to really yes. start talking. Y'all got to talk and figure out what's going on because there's some type of an underlying issue. Right. Somewhere where y'all not getting that together. Okay. Question number four. Oh my gosh, we are getting to number five. Breakups. <laughs> wow. When you break up, okay, this is what they want to know. What's the best way to break up? Phone, Man. text, email, letters. Are y'all like going to people's parents and like, look, I don't know what's going on. Because some of y'all go to the parents and talk to the parents. Y'all know y'all doing that. Or are y'all starting arguments? You know, you know people. <laughs> the, you know people be starting arguments yeah. and they be like, "This yeah. is why I want to be with you anyway." You know, <laughs> how do you feel right. about that? What do you think about this? How do you break up? So, so you do have to. And gentlemen, listening, you do have to have a strategy. You cannot decide and wake up one day and be like, "You know what? I'm done with this dude," or "I'm done with this woman." Right? You can't just do that. You can't. You have to have a strategy. Shout out to Keon Henderson because he always talking about having a strategy. You have to have a strategy with anything that yes. you're doing in life. Please understand it. So what's the strategy so, for the break? <laughs> so, okay. So let's say, for example, it's a guy and you're trying to break up with your woman. Oh my gosh. And um, you made it up in your mind. You want to break up uh-huh. with her. You don't really know how to do it, fellas. Please be strategic. Do not just okay, because this is what I see. Okay, go ahead. This is the reason. This is the reason why we need strategy. Okay. Because when guys move on quickly to a new woman and you break up with a woman, like after blue, like I'm done with you, or you know, you like you said earlier, you create a a, a, a argument, right? And then the next thing she know. She see you all booed up on your social media Ooh. account or you unfollowed her or you unfriend her Ooh. and her friends that still follow you report back to her and be like, girl, I seen his Instagram and he he was with such a scandal. Exactly. And so fellas, what I see happening, the reason why y'all need strategies is because 
y'all are already doing trickery. <laughs> they out there doing that trickery. I tell them all the time, stop doing that trickery. Stop it. Like y'all, y'all want to break up, but you should. Uh, what five months ago when you was already doing dirt. Right. Or if they wasn't doing dirt and they just, you know, they just feel like, you know, it's just not working. Still, you know, Still. don't be out there doing that trickery. I guess from a female perspective, I could kind of just be like, I don't know if I'm breaking up with somebody. Forget that. I'm sending you an email. <laughs> <laughs> you going to send them an email? I'm going to send them an email. It's not personal. No, 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 listen. No, no. If I'm really, really trying to be done, I guess we can have a conversation. I'm gonna have a conversation with you, and I'm gonna tell you, like, look, this ain't working out, you know. But then you gotta deal with, like, you know, what if he start crying or something, or he go crazy on you, like, you ain't leaving me. No, if I can't hear you, can't nobody hear you. I don't know. I guess why that's why people try to do that whole, you know, impersonal type of thing. People nowadays they be breaking up <laughs> on Facebook. Like, look, I'm gonna set up a DM. Like, I can't. <laughs> nobody wants to like confront the purple the person. People are out here being like really like afraid to just speak and be. Why in is that? Why? I don't know. You know what? I think I know what it is. It, Tell me. It's just the fact that. There is, uh, there is a new person in their life. It is. Mm. Now, if it's not a new person, it's mm. a new thing. It's okay. something that this person feels like they, they have to break away from everybody. Because I know some people who, when they shut down, they shut down. And that means it right. their significant other, their family. And here we are three months later, we have, we just now hearing back from this person. Like, I know people like that. So, for the people that did like that, like, you shut down and you don't talk to anybody and you cut everybody off, please, at least communicate with your significant other. Let him know. Right, right. What's up with this community? People lack communication so much. It's just like talk. If you talk, you might not break up if you talk. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, they out here doing all this like you like what I say all the time, you say all the time, this trickery. Yeah. Communicate. Please, y'all out here listening, communicate. If you communicate, yes. you probably ain't gonna break up. And if you breaking up, you communicate, it could just be, you know, on a different type of level, I guess. Cause y'all look this just such a day. I don't know. Y'all get rid of all the questions. It's so much. We gotta do like five at a time. It's just a lot going on here, but I guess. I don't, I don't. <laughs> breakups okay this is what we said you're doing it on the phone you're texting you email you send a letter to start arguments I don't know I don't know what y'all doing but I guess if you communicate properly yeah. through the breakup or you know if you're trying to break up it it may be better I guess right yeah and then just remember if you do attempt to break up remember the the day that you attempt to break up, it's not what? officially over. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It feels like when you break up with somebody, it's never over. You be like, what? <laughs> I broke up with you like three years. Five. <laughs> <laughs> it's not officially over. Just for those listening, when you attempt to break up with somebody that day, that day on May the. T- 10th or May 11th, <laughs> it's not over with that day. You're going to have to give it a little bit of what it called waiting period. Yeah, waiting period. Yeah. <laughs> to see, some of y'all out here waiting. Them waiting periods have been years. Y'all got to go ahead and do what y'all got to do. Move on and figure out what y'all doing. Look, please, it's just a touch of day. We are trying to put it out there in pieces for you to figure pieces. out what's going on because I don't know. Yes. All right. Yes. So that's that thing right there. Communicate. That's what we got yes. for the whole breakup thing. Figure out what you're doing or whatever. And that way you won't be going back to number one. Uh, <laughs> should you, you break up with your ex and all of that in the hell, and you won't be going to number two. Should you still be friends with them and all of that, you'll figure out what's going on. And you probably won't be dealing with that whole no oral thing either for number two. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> all right so look we got number five here's number five here's the last thing right here okay y'all ready number five says <sighs> mate check 
Okay, basically, all right, y'all are out here with this whole checklist thing. Look, the the they out here asking me should they have this dead on checklist okay now listen some of y'all out here y'all got this crazy behind checklist okay for the guys y'all want the girl to be uh short or tall you don't you want it to be natural or unnatural uh, okay <laughs> listen because a lot of y'all out there y'all wanted to be all perfect and stuff yeah how you look Gotta have abs, gotta have this, waistline this, you know, hips this, butt that, you know, boobs sitting up, you know. Okay, life happens, okay? Mm, and for yes. the guy, it's the same thing. And for right. the girls, they want these guys to be having these abs and no receding hairlines. <laughs> <laughs> they want the shape up to be right, you know, long beards or waves, I don't know. You right. know, they want all these different things. They want them to have this job and you know, yeah. this special car and they got to have this type of house and, you know, education. You got all these requirements on this, this checklist. Okay. Hey, here's what I'll say about what, this. What do you um, say about this whole checklist thing? So, when you get in a relationship with somebody, right? you're in the relationship with the person and not the things that they bring. Now, all that, thank all you. that is thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Go ahead. All of the things that they is extra credit. Like, if they have an extra, you know, they have a nice luxury car, they got their own business, they got the beard, they got the abs, or for the for the fellas, you know, looking at the ladies, you know, they got they, they stuff together, they're independent, they're they got the natural, like you like it. And they got the nice little figure, you know. And I think you mentioned something then about plastic surgery <laughs> and all that. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, because like you know, look, okay, we live in this world now. Child, this world so indoctrinated. They they got a lot going on, okay. And they want a lot of people want people to be perfect. And I'm not saying that it's just the guys out here. The guys they they want the girls to have these plastic surgery, but it's a lot of girls out here too that want these guys to be looking like these bottle guys. Wow. Me myself, I want to rub on his little belly if he got a little one little glove handles. I don't see nothing wrong as long as you healthy. You don't have too much going on, okay? Yeah. But yeah, they doing that whole plastic surgery thing. How you feel about that? With that whole. Um, I don't think that you need to get plastic surgery to uh, make yourself, so to speak, like the models or like a picture you've seen. Because I've seen it where people will spend thousands. I'm talking about they wait. Look, they wait till the income tax. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And that income tax is gone off of plastic surgery. Alone. Right. But don't got no house, no car, no stability. <laughs> like, but you just doing all of this. I don't. I guess like the R. Kelly thing. Y'all know I take plastic. I don't really know what to <laughs> say. Your problem is. But for real, y'all, y'all need to make sure that you are loving who the person is right. on the inside before before you start adding the extra credit that they bring to the table. Exactly. You know, the, the, the the figure that they bring to the table, the money, all of that is important. Like, for real, like having yourself together financially is important. Having yourself together health, health-wise is important. You know, those things are important, but just know that if you checking checking things off of the checklist, there's not going to be that is going to all that criteria. Like, he's going to have some shortcomings. Like, if he one area on your checklist, there might be another area that he's, he's not so good in. Right. Because I know some ladies, they, they actually kind of test to see if he good in bed before they start taking a man's Why? Seat. Like, you worried so, about that? I can't see somebody who want to try to test them waters like that. It just, it just says, I mean, no. No, this is just a touch of Jay. Just no, a no, touch. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Look, so I understand. I do. I really, I really do. 
But at the end of the day, like, listen, anything can happen. What happens if later on he gets into an accident and he can't use his lower parts, you know, or something like that? You know, that's ways to get around a lot of things. So I don't think that trying to see if he's good in the bedroom or she's good in the bedroom first to qualify them, you know, like, as a know being this person that's the part of the list i don't think that y'all should be putting that out there like that like i i just don't you know i think like seriously spiritually i think you need to be understanding that they heart right you need to be checking that like i said before one time y'all out here checking these necks making sure these necks ain't got none of them things on them and making sure that the day a, a, a woman and all that you a guy out here you want to make sure they're real late especially if you out here in the A where I live in you want to make sure but you want to also that on like go for somebody who has a good heart a good spirit who loves God like you know has a lot of integrity and morals and ethical values or do you want the girl that's going to be out here doing five or six three times with you and going to the club which I mean some of y'all out here doing that tricky you like it you know what I'm saying that's what you want to <laughs> You said something key what? right there. You said um, integrity. Right. You know, you got to make sure, like, let's say, let's say you put this person in a situation where they could possibly, you know, flirt with one of your family members. You know, you and your family members, when y'all kick it, uh, you fine, she fine. You know, you put him in a situation where, you know, is he going to hold the integrity and not try to get at your, your family member or even your best friend. It could be a right. friend. Right. You know, and, and I see so many times that when guys are put in situations like that, they usually fail. Yeah. Because they want just they want just another touch of something. They want touch, <laughs> they want touch of something. But look, <laughs> y'all gotta stop doing this tricky out here. Integrity, morals, ethical values. Try to look for those things. And then the other stuff, like you said, that's the bonus. Do you have the cards? Do you have this? Do you have that? I remember my dated somebody, child, look, and he was on there. So, you know, I got this type of car. And, you know, I drive this and I drive that. Child, <laughs> I want to say something, but I don't want to put it out there. <laughs> look, look, you you single now, right? I'm single now. But look, <laughs> he had all this going on, but this nigga couldn't get his feet that I looked at this nigga feet. I'm like, why your feet? You out here driving it? You driving it, but your feet ain't together? Like, hold on. Wait a minute. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you out here, you doing all that, but your stuff ain't straight. Like, get your mind straight. He was wearing he was wearing some nice shoes and nice dress shoes, yeah. but his feet wasn't right. But his feet weren't right. So, like, you know what I said? <laughs> all right, so you ain't taking care of you. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? You ain't taking care of you. Because and, and don't tell me that whole thing, you know, I'm a man. What the <laughs> child, listen, and it go for girls, it go for the women too. It go yeah. for the women too. Don't no man want nobody out here who ain't doing what they gotta do and making sure that they right, ain't taking care of her feet or grooming yeah. herself correctly or getting yeah. a manicure or whatever. Like it's a lot going on more than like you know the physical type of stuff too you know you want to like i said you want to make sure that these these people have values and morals that's what gets you far in life not just how they look or if they got you know a a, a bmw or or whatever you understand what i'm saying like none of that stuff matters i don't care if you got this type of car what your heart look like Right. So, guys, I want y'all to know that listen on here. It is okay to ha- to get a manicure. It is okay please. to get a pedicure. Please, please. It is okay to groom yourself, take care of yourself. Please. And for for the ladies, it is okay to get the wax and get shaved and, and groom yourself please. and take a bath. Take a bath because sometimes sometimes women just, just take showers. <laughs> That's why I got the bathtub confessions for y'all. I'm teaching y'all <laughs> what to do with these rose petal baths. Uh, that will be coming tomorrow on my Sunday uh, bath time. You know, Sunday bath confessions. But well, go ahead, Jay. <laughs> yeah, I, I plugged in on that. Look. You breaking up, baby. Wait, I say understand. that again. You just broke up. Okay. Go back and say that again. Oh. Yeah, I, can I said, you. can you hear me now? It is okay to just yes. take care of yourself. You know, make sure that you care about you 
I mean, if that's priority, like, yes. take care of you, you know. So, I, I, yeah, I, I guess if y'all got this checklist, make sure that you understand that the person got to be taking care of themselves. It ain't about just, you know, all this stuff that's, you know, on the outside, all these desires that you may have. Sometimes you need to understand yeah. if your heart is right. You got to see if they got these morals and these ethical yes. values and things like that, you know, before you start looking at all this other stuff. Like, it don't matter if they got, like I said, I'm going to say it again, you know, if he got abs, you know, if he got facial hair, if he got this cut and everything, check his heart and how he feels about life. How's he feel about yes. his family? How's he feel about other things? And the same thing as far as the, uh, the guys, how they want these women to be looking a certain type of way. Oh, I need her butt to be like this. I need her hips to be like this. I need her butt to be like this. But then she ain't even out here and don't even got her mind right. Her heart ain't right. Right. Yeah, that's how Yeah, can I mention, can I mention something ahead. else? For the fellas, please go see the doctor. Go see your dentist. Right. Like, I see so many guys that are like, I'm good with the money. They they out here hustling, grinding, going to work. Got three or four jobs. Got two or three businesses, and ain't taking care of their kids. You know, high blood uh, pressure. Yes, have high blood pressure, stressed out. You know, so you got the money, but you ain't got your health. Right, because they're not taking. And your care mind of too, because your mind is out the door because you're not taking care of your children. Right. And you got child support. You got back child support. Right. So. Fellas, please go back and, and do your own checklist. Is what I'm saying. Right, and women too. Yeah, yeah. Y'all gotta check it. Y'all gotta wreck y'all. Y'all gotta check yourself before you wreck yourself. And check yourself before you start trying to check somebody else. <laughs> check it. Okay, before you got all these lists of requirements. So look, this that's the test that we just had to put down out there pieces for y'all. Y'all got them five questions, okay? Me and Dub, we're gonna be coming back to y'all. I'm not doing that whole relationship series thing again. The love doctor. <laughs> we just gonna answer these questions, you know, and we hope you guys liked it, right? Yes, yes. I appreciate you having me on here tonight. Yeah, Dub, I love you. You know how we do. We always talk and we vibing. We got to put it out there in pieces for them, baby. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And I love getting on here because I feel like whenever we get on together, it's like we vibing. You know, it's just like a normal conversation. So, you know, just for those listening, this was not scripted. All we had was the question. That's it. That's all we had. They know it ain't scripted, man. <laughs> Listen here. They know Ain't nothing fake about this whole thing right here. This is how it goes. It flows because when you have an anointing on your life, you have that type of connection. God brought us together so we can go ahead and put this out there in pieces for y'all to help y'all out. Y'all got these questions, and we're just trying to give y'all answers. That's right. That's right. We hope that we were able to help y'all. So, look, let's do a quick recap. Or let's got to do a quick recap. So, look, going back to the ex, right? Yeah. Okay. We don't really know if you should or you should. <laughs> <laughs> um, it just depends, I guess, on how you break up. You want to yeah. say that, right? Right, right? Okay. Number two, the question was um, if the ex wanted to be your friend, you know, and they like, you know, they want the whole benefit on the side type thing. Yeah. You know, it just, I guess, what do we say about that? Man, you got to set boundaries. Like, if, right. you want, if that's what you want, then that's what you want. Right. That's, for, that's for the male or the female I mean because the truth of the matter is there is a reason why y'all are not together there is no, there right. is a reason why y'all are trying to be friends now rather than trying to be lovers so right. set those boundaries so that there's no uh, misunderstanding later on down the road right and if you're tr- and if but but like I said some people still just want to be your friend because they still they want you so if that's the case just say it exactly. work on it and stop playing this doing that trickery right right, right. so number three we had oh child this, <laughs> one, this whole oral thing I don't know that so what we kind of mentioned on this is I have a lot of questions to the person that asked that question you know right. like what was going on prior to this and you know where are you doing it to that person I think you said yes um, right. also you know um, there's there's got to be more variables involved like there's got to be something that I feel like is, 
is missing other than that there might be lack of quality time a lack of physical touch with that person like the person right. that's speaking their love language right um, and there's a there's something deeper than just the, the the oral part there's something deeper that this person is not communicating with us but she's pointed this out because this is where she's lacking right. there's something there's some other areas and you have to identify it and you have to come up with resolution don't just be uh pointing out one thing but you need to point out everything that's wrong in this marriage Yes, that's 20 years. It's a long time. Communicate. Please, y'all start talking. Oh my gosh. Communicate. That's all. And if you out here trying to communicate and ain't working, maybe try to get some counseling or something like that. I don't know. Call back in, baby. And and, and let's talk about this thing again. Okay, number four, real quick uh, recap. That whole breaking up thing and, you know, how you should do it. Yeah, so with the breakup situation, um, you got to have a strategy. You cannot strategy. just wake up and say, this is the day I'm going to break up with her or him. No, you need to have a strategy in place. Um, I think you mentioned, hey, we're going to set some arguments in place. I, would, I don't, even if it's a strategy of arguments, at least you had a strategy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Please be careful because people out here, y'all killing each other. Y'all doing Ooh, that's crazy you, trickery Ooh. stuff. Y'all in jail. All type of stuff. Your mental ain't right. You crying. You going crazy. Man. That, that's that's, that's, that's good that's right there. Good. See, we didn't even touch on that. We have to what? touch on that on a whole, a whole other different topic. Like how people go crazy when somebody just wakes up and say, I'm, I'm done with you. I'm done. Because rejection, we got to talk about that. Rejection is something. I've been putting that out on my name is all and I seven six on Instagram, baby. I've been putting a lot of that uh, uh, trickery out. Y'all doing a lot of that trickery. I've been trying to put Keon Henderson out there. Pastor Keon been talking about rejection. Sometimes rejection is for your protection. Ooh. Yes, y'all. He was out there giving that word. Dub. You got to check it out. He he said rejection is for your protection because you know that when somebody is rejecting you and they don't want you know to be in your life, that means that they already had that plan. So you should yeah. be happy about it. So, you know, if you doing that whole, somebody breaking up with you, you know, and like you said, you got to have that strategy, like yes. Patsy talks about, but if they start going crazy, you know, just, just be easy, you know, yeah. because sometimes they ain't supposed to be in your life. You need to be happy. Let you know, because we didn't even touch on that because I was thinking about how some people uh, will take the whole family and, and just run off a cliff and, and, and drown the whole family because of something that happened without a strategy in place. Yeah, you always got to have a plan. Strategy for everything, okay? Yes. And that's why, and, and, and you got to understand too, with this whole strategy, that when you have the strategy, things can happen. You got to be, you got to understand it. You know, yes, you got to be prepared. Yes, ma'am. All right. So the last thing we was talking about, last one, quick recap was, the whole mate check thing. Mm. You know, that whole list. Yeah. See, for ladies on here, uh, and happy Mother's Day uh, to all the young, all the women out there that are mothers. And even right. Mothers, I definitely want to make sure I give y'all a shout out. Uh, happy Mother's Day to you too, Justin. Oh, thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. So, going back to this check thing, you ladies cannot do check, and for the fellas too, you cannot do a check on somebody else without doing our own, your own check on your own self. Because the truth is, there are some things that you are lacking in on your own checklist. Mm. Like, I mean, are you six pack? Do you got your own six pack? Child, if you don't go ahead and talk about that, <laughs> out here pointing out stuff on the girls, like, oh yeah, well, this ain't this and that ain't that, but you don't got. And you're just like, you don't even got the whole. Please, please don't, please don't get me talking. I told you about the feet. <laughs> just a touch of J, y'all. I'm trying to put this out there. Please, for you. <laughs> Yeah, so just like Dub said, do what Dub said. It's your checklist, okay? Yes. Like, watch yourself. Like, don't be out here trying to point somebody else's stuff out and you only have your own stuff together. Exactly. All right, so look, we put it out there for y'all. I guess until next time, right, Dub? Yeah, until next time. All right, y'all. So look, what do I always tell y'all? Who is this? Come on, y'all. What is this? This is just a touch of J, right? 
And I just had to put it out yes. there in pieces for you, baby. All right. Dub, <laughs> thanks for coming on. Thank Definitely. you. Definitely. Y'all make sure y'all check him out. Okay. Dub, give him your information again one more time. I am Dub22 here on Anchor. Uh, Instagram, your boy Dub2 or your boy Dub, Y A B O Y D U B. And I'm on uh, Facebook. Uh, my name is Matthew Loftus, L O F. That's right, y'all. Check him out. He's dope. We're going to be coming out here doing things. And we got a couple yes. other people that's going to be doing yes. things with us, too. All right, y'all. Until next time, I love you. All right. All right, y'all. Take care. Right. Bye bye. Bye bye.